Character development is the process of building a unique, three-dimensional character with depth, personality, and clear motivations. However, this is only one type of character development. The other type of character development, and the one I believe most people think of when you say character development, is the changes a character undergoes over the course of a story as a result of their actions and experiences. This is the character development I'm going to be discussing today. While it's great when a character undergoes this type of development, I don't believe it is the most important part of creating a character, and therefore doesn't matter as much as people think it does. But Liam, didn't you criticise the book of Boba Fett for its lack of character development? Didn't you call Boba and Fennec weak characters for their lack of character development? Now that is true, and I still stand by what I said in that video. But the bigger problem with Boba Fett, and it's the thing that I personally believe to be the most important aspect of creating a good character, is that he lacked character consistency. Think about it. What did fans complain about most when it came to the book of Boba Fett? They complained about Boba Fett's characterization. They didn't think he was the same guy who wheeled off a frozen hand solo in The Empire Strikes Back. The character consistency was broken, and so he was rejected by fans. Now there's Luke Skywalker. Many of Star Wars fans told us about how they hated Luke's characterization in The Last Jedi. Why? Because he wasn't the Luke from Return of the Jedi. Let's turn away from Star Wars and look at Tyrion Lannister, one of the most beloved characters from Game of Thrones. One of the many criticisms lobbied at Game of Thrones since it finished in 2019 is the dwindling intelligence of its smartest character. Tyrion was arguably the most popular character on Game of Thrones and it was all due to his mammoth IQ. Yet by the end of the series, he was acting more like a dunce than the Hand of the King. He was making decisions that even a four-year-old with crayons sticking in his nose and ears would find stupid. His declining intelligence was picked up by everyone, including the actor playing him, and it was one of the many things that people cried as a failure once the show was over. The consistency of his character, the very thing people loved about him, was no longer there. Just like a character undergoing development, he had changed and a lot of people were not a fan of this change. Now I know what you're thinking, Liam, character consistency is good and all, but don't characters need to develop? If they don't, won't they become stale and boring? I could understand why you would think that, but there is a plethora of characters that prove you don't need to develop to be a good character. Let's look at Levi Ackerman. Not only is the guy the most popular character in Attack on Titan, he's also one of the most popular anime characters of all time, and yet his character never develops. He doesn't change, he just remains the same Levi as before. So why is his character so beloved? Shouldn't he be stale and boring? It's actually surprisingly clear why he is both popular and considered an amazing character. Yes, he has all those well-animated fight scenes, but he also makes countless decisions throughout the series, such as spoilers for Attack on Titan Season 3 Part 2, when he decides to let Irvin die and save Armin. Characters make decisions all the time in the entertainment medium, like in the book of Boba Fett when he says that he intends to rule with respect and not fear. The more consistent the character, the better these scenes are, as a character whose personality is constantly changing, grab these scenes of their weight as you probably already know the direction the show is taking their character, so you already know what they're going to choose. Whereas a more consistent character can have much harder choices thrown their way to further push their character out of the comfort zone without changing them. Still not convinced of character consistency? Then let's look at one of the most highly regarded films ever made, The Dark Knight. Would anyone argue that Batman receives much development in that film? No. But Liam, you have to look at the trilogy as a whole. Sure he doesn't develop much in The Dark Knight, but he definitely develops over the course of the trilogy. Fine. Plus Harvey Dent develops- Okay, 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 okay. I must remind everyone that this video is not saying that character development is useless, but instead that it doesn't always matter. As showcased in Heath Ledger's Joker. The Joker is present only in The Dark Knight. He does not change throughout the film, he remains consistent, consistently chaotic, consistently unpredictable. The reason why Heath Ledger's Joker has attained legendary status is due to Heath Ledger's performance and the consistency of it. The Joker does not come to any grand conclusions that dramatically alter his character, nor is there any big revelations for us as audience members to view this character under a new lens. The Joker does not change or develop, and the movie is all the better for it. Character development is important, but I don't believe it matters anywhere near as much as character consistency. Hopefully this video convinced you of that. Subscribe if you want me to keep saying things about stuff and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.